Hey babies, it's your girl Piper and I am back with another lip gloss video. I am going to be doing a get, I was about to say get ready with me. I'm about to be doing a get to know me kind of video and telling you how I started my lip gloss business and just kind of getting more personal with you guys because I want you guys to get to know me better. I want to kind of go like that way towards YouTube, you know, just more personal, you know, not just only my business because I love you guys. I've created a relationship with a lot of you guys and I just love you and I want to let you know how I started my business and how you can also start your own lip gloss business of your own or not even a lip gloss business, just how you can start a business online. You guys already know what's on the lips. It is Pit Mine. I was going to show you guys my lip combo. Right now, my brass gloss, uh, Chloe, has been my favorite right now. The one that turns blue and light. Yeah, she's been my favorite along with my like Flamingo lip liner. I want to add more colors to my lip liners, but I just have not done that yet. My lip liners do not sell that much and I feel like they should sell more because I really love them. I feel like I need to find another supplier for my lip liners too because I feel like it could have a better formula because I don't make lip liners, my supplier does. So I just feel like it just have, could have a better formula, you know? Like how I make my lip gloss, like it's the perfect formula because you know. I'm making it. And so yeah, I'm just gonna be making gloss while I tell you guys how I start my business and how I came about. I'm working on a wholesale order for one of my lovely customers. They ordered 150 pieces for $400. Okay, so as you guys see, there's a lot going on on the table right now because I have a huge wholesale order that I am creating. Where do I begin? Where do I, where do I begin? <laughs> since I was 16, I always wanted to start a lip gloss business since I was 16 and I am now 23. I always wanted to start a lip gloss business. I'm 23 now, but I've always wanted to start a lip gloss business since I was 16 years old. And the reason I wanted to start a lip gloss business was because we were actually doing really bad in a point of my, in a point of my life, in my family's life. I was living with my mom and my brother and me, and we were just in Houston, Texas doing really bad. Like we just didn't really have a place. We were just kind of like not homeless, but you know, just really not doing so great. So. We, so that is what motivated me at first to want to like have more in life. But whenever I was 16 years old, I looked online how to make money or what makes the most money. And it said starting a business and I was 16 years old. We didn't have no money, no investment, nothing. I'm just like, okay, I want to start a business. And actually I want to be rich too because we were just doing bad. I do not want to experience this. So let me just learn how to do something. So I just looked up business stuff and like, you know, how to start a business etc etc i was 16 i wanted to start a business i had that in the back of my mind i'm like okay i want to start a business that's what i want to do that's gonna make me a lot of money and i just wanted to start a business from there but ever since i was 16 i wanted to start a business i found out i wanted to start a business and ever since then i would tell people like my teachers everybody like i would like go from there saying i want to start a business what do you want to do like i want to be an entrepreneur what do you want to do entrepreneur like i always said that and like i didn't know what kind of business i want to start though and so people would be like oh you don't want to start a business you don't know what kind of business you want to start i'm like no i do want to start a business but it's so funny like i i didn't know what kind of business i wanted to start like i did not know i was gonna get into lip gloss like that was not really what i thought i was gonna get into at all but i'm gonna get there so when i was in high school i found out about i was in the school gym i was like 18 and i was in the high school gym just you know not you know doing pe like i should and i seen this shopify ad for shopify on youtube i seen this um ad and i'm like oh my god what is this shopify to where you can start your own website and i'm like that's so cool like what so i'm like that's so cool this is how i'm gonna do it that's this is how i'm gonna do it like i seen this ad i'm like you can make your own website online because you know when you're young you're like websites online are like we're becoming a thing now and like you know before i'm like okay i'm gonna start a business but somehow it's gonna be like you know a business business like where it's not online which i don't know how i was gonna do that because that was gonna be really expensive so thank god for online businesses because i am able to do it anyways i seen shopify and i'm like oh my god this is so cool you can create your own website for 30 dollars, even though that's really expensive kind of monthly but i did it so i'm like oh my god this is how i want to do it i want to start a business like this by creating my own website this is awesome and i didn't know what i wanted to start so i got into drop shipping and drop shipping from aliexpress so i was drop shipping clothes this is how i started my first business before i started lip gloss i failed in my first business okay so my first business was a <laughs> my first business was a clothing business and it was a drop shipping business so well rewind i actually said hey i want to start a business that's a clothing business but with physical products where i actually order the products so i did that i wasted 800 dollars on alibaba just buying 
like these random shirts and stuff thinking i'm gonna sell it but it was like just a few items that you can literally get anywhere else that's the that's the thing about street selling stuff like you can really just get anything from anywhere else so but i was like so motivated i'm like oh my god i'm gonna do this i'm gonna sell it like i like had saving i actually had savings because you're like so to explain where i got the 700 from or the 800 dollars that i spent on alibaba i had like five thousand saved up from like forever because i knew i was gonna do something with it and luckily i was able to save up so i took out my savings asap bought these clothes and i thought i was gonna put my own tags on the clothes you know pit mine because my name was always pit mine the clothing brand that i had it was pit mine okay but it did not go far because i did not feel like doing the clothes i was gonna sew it myself literally i was gonna sew the tag you know how the tag would be saying on your clothes like where it's from yeah i was gonna sew it myself and i'm like I never even did it. I was just like lazy or just, I don't know, just didn't really figure it out, but I ordered all the stuff. But I didn't do that. So I just kind of drop shipped and then wasted all the clothes that I had. So I bought all this inventory, $800 worth of clothes that I didn't use. So I just ended up giving away most of it to my friends and family so i ended up wasting all that inventory because i ended up doing the drop shipping instead because i'm like oh this is so cool drop shipping you don't even have to have the inventory on hand you can literally just sell it online and like have somebody else ship it out for you which was so cool but there was a big downside to drop shipping because like the product wouldn't come i would have like different suppliers in my one shopify store it was it's really hard to explain and this was like like four years ago now. I don't remember how dropshipping went. I don't think I would ever dropship again, but your girl did teach herself how to dropship, which I'm super proud of when I think about that. Cause I'm like, wow, I really taught myself and I really did make some sales. Well, to let you guys know how much I did make in my lip gloss business, put my clothing store. I made 1,600, 1,600 in one year. <laughs> and the investment wasn't really nothing, but I did pay $30 for Shopify every month. So that's like, 300 and something a year. I didn't really make a profit at all, especially with the clothes that I wasted too. That was like, yeah. So after that, I was like, oh my God. And I'm like 19 at the time. Cause I, I found out about Shopify at 18 and then I'm like 19 at the time when I started the clothing business that lasted like a year. After that failed, I'm like, let me start a lip gloss business. I had to let you guys know my age. So after that, I was like, okay, let me start a lip gloss business. And the way I found out about lip gloss is I was on, I was like, not making no progress with my business guys. It was like a year. I'm like, this clothing business, this dropshipping business is not making no progress. But I forgot to tell you, I got, I was so motivated. Like I was posting every single day on Instagram. Like I would have a timer set on four o'clock to post on Instagram, like post these dropshipping clothes or whatever, just to promote my business. Cause I was so motivated to still keep it going. Like you guys, you have to keep on going no matter what. Now, of course, if a business doesn't work out, you're probably gonna have to move along and start another business you know just like i did because i'm like okay no business is for me i'm just gonna try a different plan so i was on instagram one day i think i'm 19 or 20 but i was like but because i'm 23 now and i've had my lip gloss business for like almost four years so yeah so i'm like scrolling through instagram or whatever and i'm seeing these small businesses from home and i'm like okay that looks like a lot of work but okay i'm seeing these small businesses from home like, you know, printing their own labels, shipping out their own products. I'm like, oh my God, that's so cool. And then I came across like body butter at first. I'm like, oh, body butter. Okay, um, I wanna do that. Like, that looks so cool. Cause the only reason I've seen that I wanted to do it cause I've seen another business be successful in body butter, which there's a lot of businesses that are successful in body butter. I'm like, oh my God, I wanna do that. So that's what I tried to do at first. But then I actually, lip gloss was what we did first and so i told my mom about it and like i also seen lip gloss on instagram and i'm just like oh look at this and my mom's like oh i want to do that so because my mom is the one i started the lip business with at least the lip gloss business because the clothing business was by myself like you created the name but she's like okay i want to help the lip gloss so we did start it together had unemployment coming in because like nobody had money it was also during covid guys because this was in 2020 so this was when COVID started, but we invested like $500. We were just testing trial and like, we were not making good batches and we listed the glosses for sale, but I did not make any sales for like two months. And luckily I did not because we actually did not have a great formula up on the website. Like we did not, it was not a great formula. It was just like, not the best formula that we had that took us like two months to reveal. And you're probably like, okay, why were you selling gloss that didn't have great formula? Okay, it was an okay gloss, okay? It was just, I made lip oils that were really weird and just like, if you look back at my old pictures on Instagram, like the glosses were not even filled up all the way. Like it was just like, thank goodness, a lot of them did not sell. 
but we did not make our first sale until like two months but i do remember making that first lip gloss sale because whenever i quit my clothing business i was actually like really sad because i deleted all these posts that i made with this drop shipping business but i like to put so much work into the growing this instagram page that I actually made no progress within a year compared to my pit mine out it made no progress but i was so sad because i was scared that i was making the wrong decision when starting my lip gloss business like ain't it crazy how where it came down but i was so scared before i started because i thought that like it's scary like i'm throwing away this drop shipping business that might go somewhere but it wasn't really going nowhere but i was still scared but to start this lip gloss business that was brand new because like you know i had to start from the bottom like i was getting no likes on instagram etc etc even if i delete my post and like i had like it, it was just yeah so i was like really scared so whenever i made that first sale my lip gloss business i was like oh my god and that's when i knew this business might just have potential i had to get a few more sales to actually you know <laughs> believe it but that is when I'm like, oh my God, somebody just bought my lip gloss, that's crazy. It was like a really big celebration for me and my mom because we're like, oh my God, somebody just bought a lip gloss that we made, that's so cool. Like, that was almost four years ago. So that was really exciting. So whenever I started my lip gloss business, Bougie Barbie, Lip Gloss by Claudia, and Audacity Cosmetics are the ones who motivated me to start my lip gloss business and make videos. I just seen people making TikToks TikToks, lip gloss, TikToks. I'm like, okay, let me get into this, okay? And then from then on, I started being like, I started posting TikToks like three times a day. Like I was going crazy. I don't know what it is because like, I'm so proud of myself for being so motivated because guys, like I don't know how I made this many videos because that's how I eventually blew up from TikTok. But like, I was making so many videos. Like I was making so many videos. Like that is what you have to do. You have to make so many videos. You have to make like a lot of content, guys. Like in order to grow, you have to really push yourself out there. And that is what I did. I had to put myself out there with TikTok. So I started posting every single day because I started seeing these videos. I'm like, okay, let me make videos. And like my videos, oh my gosh, I got to post like one of the old ones. It's like so funny so you guys can see. But like one of the old videos, this was like so basic. Like, oh my gosh. Whenever I started posting TikToks, they actually started blowing up really quick. Like I started getting like a lot of likes. I remember when I got like my first viral video. It was like the most biggest video. Like it got like... 200 views and like 50 likes like oh my gosh i was like so excited because like the likes just kept on going up then to get put value content out there like people will love you like that's all you have to worry about is just putting value content out there and just being consistent most of all too because if you're not consistent how do you expect people to keep up with your brand like if you don't keep up with your brand like if you're not keeping up with your brand then nobody else is going to keep up with your brand because if you don't care about it, then I don't care about it. From there, my business took six months to blow up when I realized I probably will not be going back to work because like it blew up that much. And I was like, wow, I'm probably not gonna be going back to work because it's like going so great. I'm like, we just gotta keep this up. Like we just had that much hope. Like it is good to have that much hope. Yeah, within six months, I was like, okay, I don't think I'm gonna be going back to work. My mom told me and like, you know, we were just running the business together. So we were just running the business together and we we're just like, yeah, let's keep on doing this. And like, we were just like really doing it together. And it was like so much fun. It was very consistent on these other apps, like posting every single day, especially on Instagram. I would post at a certain time. I would post at 12 o'clock every single day to grow my pages. For Instagram, it was 12 o'clock every single day, like literally 12 to one o'clock I would post. And that is what you need. And also hashtags in order to grow. You need to post every day. But that was with pictures like it. So now they push reels more. So if you want to grow, you have to push, you have to post reels. So if you're making lip gloss like me, you're gonna wanna make lip gloss making videos. And that goes the same for any kind of product you have. You have to make videos and you have to make sure that they're short, they get to the point and they add value and they're entertaining. You can't just put something out there and just hope that people will like it. Like if you didn't put no work into it, and of course, good videos flop too, but that's why you just have to grow your page and then repost it. That's how I started my business with there and just how I grew my pages was really simple. Just posting every day, adding value content and just making my lip gloss and just selling it in a way that it doesn't make it seem like I'm just forcing to sell, you know, just like buy my lip gloss. It's more like entertaining, I'm making it. People think it's cute and they'll buy it. I have learned all the tips and tricks on branding and marketing myself. Like it has been a journey and I'm growing my Instagram to 197K within three years. I have grown my TikTok to 1.7 within three years, 1.7 million. And it was 1.8 million, but I was dry on there. So the followers did die, which I recommend never be dry, never go ghost on your followers. And I also grew my YouTube to 100K within two months. I say three months, but it was really just two months for being consistent. I cracked the code 
to keep marketing so I finally have a course for that if you are interested in learning how i market and brand myself over these years nor the mess right here y'all know how i get to making lip gloss or do y'all i have the perfect course for you guys if you are interested in doing exactly what i do with digital or physical products because you guys have been hearing me talk about digital digital products on my page you're like what is she talking about like is this a scam no it's just another product you can get into because you know i'm putting you guys on all kinds of ways to make all kinds of, with all kinds of ways to make money in 2024 and yeah because if you didn't know digital products are taking over and forbes says it's going to be the highest paying business in 2024 so i would jump on that digital products are like my ebooks and courses but enough with that i already have a free guide on that if you guys are interested on that but i do have the perfect course for all my lip gloss business owners or my business owners who are just interested in starting a business it has everything you need in order to start a successful physical or digital business so if you're ready to earn passive income and elevate your brand with your marketing skills with the marketing skills that i used to make 500,000 in lip gloss sales then my course is for you. It has 220 plus videos included. It is in four different languages, German, French, Spanish, and English. Community calls every three weeks. Community calls three times a week. It has um, testimonials in the, in the course too. It also comes with a bonus of my digital starter bundle that has eight plus eBooks and guides that are on my website. Digital starter bundle, you see my website, that's 127. That comes for free as a bonus in my UBC course. So happy about this course and what I'm offering you guys. Cause like, I just know whoever has it, whoever's willing to like elevate their brand and actually go forward with starting a business, regardless if you have a business plan ready or not, this course is for you if you want to get into branding successfully and actually marketing because that is the key to actually being successful is learning how to brand and market yourself because you can have a winning product but guys like you don't only need a winning product but you also need to know how to market yourself just how i did my ultimate branding course is perfect for that if you are interested i'm so happy i finally offered this course guys because i have been waiting to offer something like this forever like and so many people have asked me like hey please offer something i can learn from you you know i want to know how you do it i want to know how you Make these so not only will my course teach you how to elevate your brand but it also has videos on CapCut and how to edit your videos what kind of content to post examples like it is like videos guys like not just my regular ebooks like this is course i offer okay and it's 4.99 but the original price is almost a thousand so it is such a deal okay lifetime updates okay and not only that, but you can resell this course as your own if you were interested in the digital products. And like I said, it comes with my digital story bundle, so you'll learn and know everything you need in order to create a successful digital business or a physical. So if you were interested in that, I recommend getting my course if you were interested in that because you could just get my digital story bundle, but if you get the course, you get the branding and marketing skills along with products to resell as your own. Is my course. <laughs> and not only does my course include everything about branding and marketing but it also includes a beauty section so beauty marketing so if you're interested in that kind of field like me that is what includes a beauty section a beauty funnel model which is a chapter on beauty branding so i'm so happy about that first year i made 100k selling lip gloss and that was so great because i made six figures my first year selling lip gloss and that's how i knew it was way different from my clothing business because i only made a thousand my first year a thousand and six hundred dollars with my closing business and that was as far as i went with it i'm like wow sometimes you just have to change the business plan okay if this is something you really want to do you can take the information you got from me and just apply it to something else so when i what i mean by me is if you got any of my ebooks and courses you can just apply what you learned from me to any other business model because that's the thing with growing a business and the kind of courses and ebooks i offer is it's all how to market and brand yourself and successfully make sales and actually just you know put yourself out there so you can take this information and apply it to a lot of other things guys like so many other things on the internet okay and not only can you grow a business but you can grow a personal page with the information i offer so i had so much fun talking to you guys i hope i motivated you and how you can start your own business too all you have to do is be authentic add value and always show up every day you have to show up every day when running a business i'm gonna end this video with the bank and i hope i motivated you guys to start a business of your own and i forgot to mention i also dropped out of college whenever i also went to college right before because i was doing my clothing business and i was going to college but then i dropped out during covid 
and I started focusing on lip gloss business. So luckily, um, my lip gloss business worked out because two girl dropped out of college and I was going to college for like business class. But you know what's so funny is you go to college for business class, but these teachers and professors, they don't even have a business themselves. So I'm glad I went the own, my own way and taught myself how to be a boss. And now I'm teaching you guys how to be a boss. So I love you guys so much and I am gonna see you later and finish these glosses off camera, okay? So bye, love you guys. Like, share and subscribe and I'm out. <laughs>